Have you ever experienced that euphoric tingling sensation on your skin when you listen to certain music or see something awe-inspiring? Well, that's called frisson, and in this video, I'll be demonstrating that frisson can be induced voluntarily. Now watch closely as I attempt to induce frisson with the power of my mind. So right now, I'm just focusing on my breath bringing it down a little and focusing intensely on my trigger or that thing that gives me frisson. Once I have my full attention on that trigger, those euphoric goosebumps and chills start to come and you can see that the hairs on my forearms are starting to stand up and I feel this feeling throughout my entire body. And now I'm just kind of riding that wave of euphoria. Such an incredible high. And now I'm just gonna let it come down because I wanna show you that I can turn this on with just the power of my mind by bringing full attention to things that give me frisson. And so now I'm gonna focus intensely on that trigger again, really locking in and you can see how intense I am with this. And there it goes again, this wave of electricity that runs through my arms, my legs, and even around my head. It's like this incredible connection of my mind and my body. And I'm gonna let it come down. And I wanna do this a third time because three times is a charm. So once again, I'm focusing on that trigger, revving up my system and putting everything I got into it. And you can see another wave of goosebumps along my forearms. And my wish is for other people to be able to activate frisson with the power of their mind and generate this incredible euphoric feeling as well. Now, this is a clip of my legs. I filmed this at the same time as the previous clip. I did speed this up and I zoomed in because the piloerection effect or goosebumps is a subtle thing to see. So hopefully this makes it a little bit easier. I took a clip of it happening along my legs because I wanted to show you that this is a powerful, full body experience. It's incredible how our minds and our bodies can respond to certain stimuli in such a powerful and euphoric way. So what's happening here? Frisson, also known as skin orgasms or aesthetic chills, can be a profound emotional experience triggered by various stimuli such as music, art, and acts of kindness. So what is exactly happening inside of our bodies during a frisson moment? Let's find out. At the core of the frisson experience lies our emotional response system. When we encounter something that moves us deeply, our brain releases a surge of neurotransmitters including, but not limited to, dopamine and norepinephrine. These chemicals act as messengers communicating with different parts of our brain and our body, triggering a series of physiological responses. One of the key players in this process is the limbic system, which is responsible for processing emotions. When we experience something that resonates with us on a profound level, the limbic system activates, leading to an increase in physiological arousal. The surge of arousal triggers the release of adrenaline which is responsible for that fight or flight response. In the context of frisson, this response isn't because of fear, but an intense euphoric sensation. As a result, we may experience that piloerection effect where our body hairs stand on end, causing goosebumps. Now, what's truly fascinating is how individual and subjective the frisson experience can be. What triggers this sensation in one person might not have the same effect on another person. It depends on our unique emotional and psychological makeup, our past experiences, and even our cultural background. Moreover, research suggests that people who are open to new experiences and people who are empathic tend to experience frisson more frequently and intensely. So, it's not just a physiological response, it's deeply tied to our personalities and our emotions. In conclusion, frisson is a captivating phenomenon 
that highlights the intricate connection between our emotions and our physical responses. It's a testament to the power of art, music, and moments that can touch us in profound ways. By understanding the science behind Frisson, we can appreciate these experiences even more and embrace the beauty of our complex human nature. I hope you found this exploration of Frisson fascinating, and if you've ever experienced Frisson or have any thoughts on the topic, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Keep embracing these magical moments, and remember, good vibes, save lives, and I'll see you in the next one.